thank you that your word will manifest in our life because that is the power of your word. I want to thank you now for this wonderful fellowship and I pray for open hearts today, yes. for open minds today and Holy Spirit be at work in us so that we are comprehending the meaning of your word here today. Amen. I want to thank you for it and I'm giving and submitting this day to you and we submit to your authority today. In the name of Jesus I pray. Amen. 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 Good to be here. It's uh, great to be here. Uh, today, I like to talk about faith. I was asking the Lord, what should I talk about? And uh, faith is very important. Mm. Because uh, the Hebrews 11, 6 says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. And the faith mentioned there is not the faith going to heaven. Mm. The faith talking about there is speaking about the faith of everyday life that God will just simply take care of us in everyday life, mm. what, what we have dealing with in our life. God is the one who is uh, in our lifestyle, the one who, when we are trusting in Him, that He is our supporter, mm. helper, He is the one who is doing it. And therefore, we need to develop faith. Many people have a seed kind of faith. The mm. Bible teaches in Romans 12, 3, that a measure of faith already, as a born believer, has been given to us. Mm. So we don't have to ask for faith. We already have the seed form of faith. And the seed form of faith is like this. When you uh, plant a flower in your garden, you put in the seed first. And the seed of the flower is very small. You cannot see the seed. You don't know. When you plant a tree, you cannot see anything because it is very little to see. Mm. But when you put it in the ground, you know the seed is there, and then you water the seed, you do everything what you can, and then over time, the seed will grow, and everybody will see the wonderful fruit of the seed. Mm. And this is how faith works. Faith has to be watered. Mm. Faith has to be used. We have faith, but we need also to use our faith. Mm. And we can use our faith in everyday life walk with God. Mm. Our responsibility, our lifestyle is in front of our God. Mm. And He is the one who wants us to use our faith. And I want to share with you about Matthew, I believe it is chapter 17, where Jesus commanded His disciples to cast out demons. Mm. In Matthew 10, 1, He gave them authority to do so. But Jesus got very angry with them because they had a case where they could not cast out the demon in a person. And this person came to Jesus and said, uh, Yo, you disciples, I, mean, I did go to your disciples, but he could not, they could not cast it out. Mm. And Jesus said, How long shall I put up with you? How long shall I have to put, suffer you? Because they did not use the faith and the authority in the way Jesus expected them to use it. So Jesus got very mad. And this proves that Jesus wants us to use the authority that has been given to us. We have been given faith for that purpose to use it. And in our everyday life, uh, the enemy will give us uh, sorrow, the enemy will give us uh, problems. And if we learn in our everyday lifestyle to simply trust the Word of God and put to the Word of God to use, how can we use the Word of God? I want to give you one practical example. When you have a problem, someone gives you a bad report, then you just go into the Word of God. What does the Bible say? Let's say you are sick, huh? or you have any kind of sickness. Then you go into the Bible, you get into the Bible first, and First Peter 2.24 says, that in his stripes I am healed mm. in Jesus' name. So when you feel sickness, you just don't allow the sickness. You say, in Jesus' name I am healed. And when you speak this word, you uh, plant a seed. Mm. And at the same time, you water the seed. Mm. And when you do this every day, I'm telling you out of my own experience, if you do this every day, faith will grow like a seed. Faith is like a little seed. But when you do this practice every day, this will be practice. The faith will grow every day, little by little, little by little. It will grow. It takes time, not overnight, but it will grow. Little by little, 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 little. And Then suddenly, your sickness will try to come, but it will go away. Mm. It will go away because your faith has grown. And your faith grows 
when faith is used. Mm. It will not grow when faith is not used. It's like having money. Let's say I have 5,000 pesos in my bank account, mm. but I don't get it. I don't use it. It will benefit me no benefit. Mm. <laughs> so when I have faith, I have to use it. And uh, we are using faith in our everyday life. And what you have, do you have brothers and sisters? Do you have cousins? Yes. <laughs> so when you have, <laughs> all right, no. Uh, I yeah. want you to know to know that you have authority as a born again believer. You have authority over your own home. You have authority, and you can speak the word of God even when you are all alone. You can, in the atmosphere, you can release the word of God, and it will perform miracles, signs, and wonders. And what it will perform is that the things. The enemy wants to do to you, he cannot do because uh, you exercise in your face. And many times we can this in Mark chapter 4, mm. and we also read this in Matthew chapter 8. I call this the healing chapters mm. because there we have recorded many casting out demons, many healings take place mm. in these two chapters. Uh, I want to share with you that uh, many times Jesus said, Your faith has healed you. Mm. Your faith has healed you. So our faith is then the force what draws the healing power to us. Faith is the way. And that's why there's our responsibility that we have to grow our faith. And this is very, very important because normally the Filipinos <laughs> in this culture, they are not so much exercising the faith. Mm. And uh, here in this country, we have, I believe, 90% Catholics, 90% Catholics, and they are not exercising faith. They are not exercising faith. And as a body young people, we should exercise our faith. How are you feeling today? Are you feeling okay? Bless. Okay. Bless. <laughs> Bless. Bless. Uh, I share with you the ingredients. And I can go into details exactly what to do. Uh -huh. And when you apply these details, I guarantee, I give you a promise, 100%, that your home will change. It will change. What will change is we. First of all, we are changing. Uh. We are commanded in Romans 12 to, to be transformed in our mind. That is a command. Uh. We are, we, that is our work. And brothers and sisters, uh, God cannot do this for us because we are the ones who are supposed to do it. And, and this is always one of uh, Jesus said in John 9, 19.30, Jesus said, it is finished. Mm. It is finished. So Jesus <coughs> has finished his works, and now it is up to us. It is up to you, it is up to me, to now uh, work and walk in who we are. Who are we? Who are we? We are First Peter 2, 9. Mm. Royalty, priesthood, that is who we are in Christ mm. Jesus. Mm. And we have to begin to see ourselves in this way what the Bible says about us. And if we begin to live this lifestyle where we are learning every day, oh, this is what the Bible says about me, okay, I'm going to accept it, I'm going to speak it, and I'm going to live it. And if I begin to do this every day, life will change. I started with it when I was living in the warehouse. I was not living in the warehouse, not far away. And when I lived in the warehouse, I started in the corn tree. They have a cow corn tree there, not far away. And then I said to my girl, oh, I'm going to go to the corn field. <laughs> and when I go to the corn field for five minutes, I was just simply speaking God's word. I was walking back and forth in the corn field. People were looking at me there, what is this guy doing? <laughs> and I was uh, developing meditation with God, and I was constantly speaking the word of God, e even for me alone, in the corn field, go walking back and forth. This is how it started. And uh, let everybody think what they think, and some say, oh, he's talking to himself, <laughs> crazy man. But uh, this is how I started. So I did this now really every day. I said to my girl, oh, I have to go to the corn field now. <laughs> and then I went for the five minutes to the corn field, and I did this every day. I developed a habit, I developed a lifestyle to do this. And I can uh, assure you, when you just stick to it, just speak the word of God. Just do this same simple exercise that you speak the word. When you're sick, you say, in Jesus' name, I'm healed. When you just do this little exercise, and you do this every day, 
I promise you that something will change. Something mm. will change. And I promise you that because I have experienced it in my life. And I am now on such a level that sickness cannot get on me. Mm. It really cannot. I had one incident with Andrew. Andrew had high fever and over the Christmas time, that is the time normally when sickness wants to come in our family and my son suddenly, suddenly had high fever. So what I did was I took uh, the hand of my son, I took the hand of my son, I felt his body was very hot. I commanded the fever to go in the name of Jesus and I insisted, I prayed and prayed maybe five minutes I, and I could feel under my hand that the fever would decrease. Less and less and less fever under my hand. I didn't take any medicine. I didn't go to the hospital. I went to Jesus. Jesus. And when I did that, his fever was gone. Mm. And when my girl was coming home from the Saturday Baruch, I told her what happened. I gave her testimony. I said I had a wonderful experience. No, my son is healed. And over a period of 24 hours, the sickness is gone. Mm. The sickness is gone. Sometimes headache wants to come. I rebuke it immediately. I have to develop lifestyle. Yeah, immediately I rebuke it. I don't let it come. I rebuke it immediately. And even though it wants to come, but it cannot come. It, it does not come. It does not happen. And as a consequence, I am healthy. <laughs> well mm. excited. Mm. And uh, I never have pain. I don't have pain. I don't have headache. I can go jogging in my age. No, no problem if I want to. <laughs> so I feel very healthy. And uh, because I have developed this lifestyle where I immediately repeat sickness. And you can do this with any other area. In any area. You can do this. Mm. And uh, I believe firmly, I believe that God is a supernatural working God today. But uh, the word of God has to be practiced. The word of God has to be used. And when we are using the word of God, here's what happens. Your face will grow. Mm. It will grow. You are down here, but it will grow every day more. Every day more. And over one or two years, you have strong faith. And then things happen. Mm. <laughs> Unexpected wonderful things happen. This happens to us many, many times. This happened to us many, many times as a family. This happened many, many times before. I will tell you, we don't take medicine. When I'm too sick, I don't go to the doctor. I go to Jesus. Mm. And he... No sickness. No sickness. Because then it goes away. And this is a way of lifestyle. What I would recommend for everyone in any believer to develop this kind of lifestyle to exercise the word of God. Mm. And normally this is not something what a born again believer is doing because this comes with exercise. You can only exercise it and then uh, discipline yourself and in doing so you will learn it. It does not come naturally. Mm. It does not come naturally because natural we are not doing that. We are talking all the problems naturally. We're talking about the pre sickness naturally. That is our that is our nature. But we are now born again, and we are now new creatures, and we are now supposed to think different. We are now supposed to talk different because that is uh, we have a new life. We are new creatures. Second Corinthians five seventeen. We are new creatures. You are a new creature in Jesus Christ. Amen. You are no more the old creature. We are new. And to a new creature belongs different kind of thinking, different kind of talking. We cannot continue to talk like before we are born again believers. We have to change our talking. Because when we are Christian and born again believers and we still talk like the world talks, uh, we are hurting ourselves. And the manifestation is on delay. And my desire for you here, for all of us here, actually for all of us, is to have desire and manifestation of the word of God quickly, mm. quickly. Because God wants to for us to have the manifestations quickly. Uh, it does not have to take five years, six years, eight years. It's not necessary. Because we are learning from uh, uh, the when Jesus cursed victory. This happened, I believe, in Mark 11, 22. There Jesus cursed the fig tree, and the fig tree withered away right away.
Jesus spoke to the fig tree, immediately the fig tree died. It did not take 10 years. It did not take 10 years. And Jesus commanded us in John 14, 12, the things I do, you do too. You do too because I go to the Father and you will do the same and even more what I did because I go to the Father. So right here today we are commanded to do like Jesus did. And so when Jesus spoke to the fig tree and it goes away immediately, we remember the storm. Jesus was commanding the storm and the storm immediately stopped. Immediately, not in 10 years, it stopped immediately. Why should we then wait long? We are commanded to do exactly the same. Mm. So what we have to do then is, we are uh, praying. We are praying, we believe it. When it is raining weather, I sometimes command the rain to stop. Mm. I do that. I command the rain to stop. I do that because I want to exercise faith. I exercise faith. And sometimes it happens. <laughs> the rain stops. And uh, we have the authority and power to speak to the storm. We have the authority to the power is given to us. You can read this in Matthew chapter 18 and verse 18. It says this, Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Mm. And whatever you will lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. That mm. is the authority given to every born again believer. So mm. we have this authority given to us. But it is of no use if we are not using it. If we are not using what has been given to us, it will not benefit us. So we have to use it, and when we're using it, manifestations, manifestations. Amen. <laughs>